Hello everybody! Today I have a very special video because it is my first gaming video on my channel and we are playing Astroneer and this is going to be a new series on my YouTube channel. So without any further delays, let's get right into it. Such a beautiful game. And here we are. All right, everybody, let's get started. Oh my goodness, I love this animation so much right here. Whoa, there's a boulder. And now we are ready to get going. All right, so now we have a base and the first thing we need to do is get our equipment so let's get right into it whoops hit the wrong button all right so um, I believe this will give us the small fabricator and we put it on that table And I'm just going to plop it down just like that. So I have my systems going. It's about to become night now. And I'm actually going to go into a time lapse now as I'm going to collect a bunch of resources. My main goal is to get a bunch of resin, compound, aluminum, and copper so that I can get right into expanding our base. So let's get right into it. During this time lapse, I want to talk about a few things regarding this series. First of all, I want to do some sort of special project in this series, so I've decided to construct a massive fortress because why the heck not? I don't have any detailed plans for the fort yet, but I'll have some when the time comes to build the fort. Also, later on in the series, a few friends of mine might join in. They're all very excited to see all of you in my videos, however, don't expect it to happen anytime soon. Lastly, if you're thinking that I'll be able to release gaming videos quickly since the previous video I made was released two days ago, stop thinking that. Please, I could release gaming videos this often, however, if I did, I wouldn't have any time to animate. Plus, I'm still getting a feel for how long it takes to make an animation or a gaming video, so I don't have a consistent video release schedule yet. However, you can expect video releases to become more consistent in the future. Well, that's all I have to say during this time lapse. I'll see you guys later.
Okay, everyone, I just finished gathering a bunch of resources, and oh my goodness, that screen jumped like crazy. Well, so I just finished gathering some resources. That took, all that time lapse you just saw was about three hours of gathering. And I say, and I would say that this is a very good amount of resources to have for the beginning. So we're going to need some resin for some platform building. Oh wait, I already have some. And we have this thing, so let's start making our platform for our research chamber. Wait. Oh, wait a second. Do I have... Do I have it? Oh, I was just in the way. We're gonna make a large platform A. And that's going to get going, and then we're going to put a research chamber on it. And after that, I think we then do a smelter and then a printer. So, we don't have the most energy, so I, we're just going to wait it out. Alright, the research chamber is just nearing completion. Just a few bits to go. And... Bam! Our first research chamber and platform. So we're just gonna unpack these. So now we have our research chamber ready to get going, and we're going to pop it a bit closer. I'd say that's good. And now we are all ready to start researching. Alright, so normally I would start with these, but I actually found some titanium earlier. And you may be thinking like, oh Zoomad, don't, don't research the titanium, but the titanium in the beginning of the game is not that useful and later on in the game I always get lots of titanium by setting up a base on Baron and just getting tons of titanium and lithium so at the beginning of the game it's best being it's best be, like used as research so we will start researching that titanium and my goodness that's gonna take a while so while I'm here I'm going to see what I need to get researched so we need a printer, but we need a smelter as well. That one is more important. Okay, a smelter costs 500 bytes, so we are going to go for that first, and this is clearly going to take a very long time. So um, I'm still waiting for that. It's obviously going to be a while before that research is done, but there was, um, I found some astroneers when I was down in the cave, and um, I wanted to try out these fireworks. I've never set one off before, so let's try this out. What's it gonna do? Oh, that's so cool! That is really cool. That's, that's really, that's amazing. You know, how much does it actually cost to research fireworks now? I want some. <laughs> that is really cool. 3,600 bytes? That's a lot. Oh well. well, we'll eventually get it. So yeah, I'm going to save that other firework though. I kind of want to save it for, I guess, a special occasion or something. I thought it would be cool. But yeah, that was really cool. I've got 45 minutes to kill. So I just noticed some compound over here and I dug it out and I just thought that this would be a cool part um, um, for like that big base I'm going to build. Like I could have like an underground section and this could be the entrance to it. Oh no. This is going to take a very long time. I can't believe I've been so stupid. So we've been getting very very few bites. It's been taking a while. I just remembered I have a generator here. I can just gather organic and speed up this process so much. I can't believe I'm being so dumb. <laughs> Silly me. So I can just store that on there. And now this is going to go a lot faster. See, now it's going 52 bytes, so it's almost going twice as, it, as fast as it just was. And ah, oh man, there's a dust storm coming. That looks really cool. It's like kind of a glowing purple. It looks very strange.
it's like shifting colors. It's magical space dust. Alright, the process is going a lot faster. This will be done in no time. Okay everyone, we have enough bites now to get the smelter. Nice. So now we can start smelting all those ores I made earlier. So I believe I'm going to need two compound to make the smelter and two resin to make the platform for it. I think that's how it works. So now I grab this. Alright, so now I'm going to start smelting. Or not smelting, psh, um, I'm going to start fabricating the smelter. Speaking is hard, kids. Okay, everyone, so now we have our platform. Now we need to get the smelter going. All right, we now have our smelter ready. So we're just going to unpack this. There we go. And grab our smelter. I'm going to extend out the side of this area so I can put the furnace there. Or smelter. Okay, everyone, I got this all hooked up. And it is now ready to go. And we are going to need a lot more power to keep all these things going. Alright, I have that generator going now. And we should have plenty of power. So now I can... I'm just going to turn that on. And I'm going to grab my ores and get them smelting. So now I can open my backpack and toss them in. We have enough bites to get the medium printer. So now I'm going to grab some more resources and get that going. Aw, oh, nuts. It costs aluminum. But I do have that smelting right now, so that will be done very soon. Whoa, that looks so cool. Look at that view. That looks so cool. That planet often actually gets like... I think this is like the fourth time while I've been recording that that has gone by. Well, not while I was recording, the entire time I've been playing. But look, it's just so cool that in this game you can just see all those other planets all over. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, like, um, this one time it was, I think, during the time lapse, I'm not quite certain, um, the planet got very close to the sun, it was at least, like, twice that size, twice the size it is right now, and there were just planets everywhere, like, they were all close to the center all at once. Alright, so, I feel like we should definitely try to speed things up here, I wonder if we can buy anything here that will help us. Okay, that will come in handy. Let's get that. And I believe crafting this small solar panel costs one copper. Alright, this is the last one. And now I can attach these. So I can put one there, one there. Uh, where else will this be useful? Um, let's pop one on right here. And I'm going to throw one on right here. And now that will give us plenty of power. We have two aluminum, which means we can now make the printer. Let's go into here. All right, so now we are close to getting all the vitals that we are going to need for progressing in this game. Now I'm going to need to grab a bunch of copper because I'm going to start making those larger solar panels. Well, wait. Hang on. I have 142 bytes. Oh my, 2,500. It's going to be a while. But I mean, I still have other research that I gathered, so we should have enough research to get going. We finished the printer. Alright, it's time to get our large platform going. There we go. Oh hey, this furnace just finished. Blah. That is very hard to say. This furnace just finished smelting. Furnace, that's like a tongue twister. Furnace finished smelting. Try to say that fast. We have one more bit of organic and this should help us get that platform done. Nice. Now we have this platform going. 
and it's time to get this smelter cracking. All right, so I've now hooked our printer onto the platform, and now we just simply attach it, and we pretty much have the basics of what we need now for playing through Astroneer. All right, so there is one more thing I want to do this video, and that is I really want to get the, um, like those larger platforms that are new. Um, I believe they're like B and C or something like that, or C and D. Let me look through it real quick. All right, so here are the platforms I'm excited about. Um, there's platform C and D that I'm really excited about to try out, because I actually haven't really tried them out yet. And that is because I haven't played Astroneer a whole lot ever since, like, the base building update came out. I haven't even, like, really tried out a world with it. So that will be very exciting to try out. And one other thing that I'm just looking at when I notice this is I just look at this monster of a platform here and I just think, imagine how many solar panels I can attach to that thing. It's going to be insane. I, I just love that platform so much. I'm, I can't wait to try it out. Come on, research chamber. You're so close. You're almost there. You can do it. Go on, little buddy. This is really pretty. Whoa! Oh, geez, that almost killed me. Oh, no. That was really close. That could have killed me. That was just... Oh, I'm going to go stargazing a bit. Nope. Right into a hole. I need to fill those in. Oh no. All right. This just finished, but now there is a massive dust storm coming in. Oh jeez, that was a close call. Is it over yet? Is it over yet? Is it over yet? Okay, it is. Okay, so... We're going to get this thing going. It has 2,596 bytes. That's pretty good. So now that we have that researching, I wonder how many bytes we have right now. All right, almost a thousand. And yeah, I'm trying to decide whether I should get these first or if I should save up some bytes and get this. I'm thinking I'm going to get, where is it? I'm going to get the large platform C and D first. That's what I'm planning on doing. Uh, Tether, are you okay? Guys, um, Tether? Tether? Tether, are you okay? This is concerning. What on earth is going on here? You know, I'm actually going to leave it like that. I'm going to see if that will actually fix itself later on. That is hilarious. There's this strange thing that happens when I pick this up. It like explodes out of the items. Oh no, it's kind of odd. That is such a pretty view. Look at that. That that would this would make a really cool screensaver. Oh, better get back. Okay, everyone. So, I've done some more research off camera and it actually has just finished. So, I'm going to pop that on, get this one going. Now, um now we have everything we need to get those big platforms and <gasps> we have enough bytes let's do this large platform c and large platform d now we are ready to get these going so let's get this thing and wait oh we need aluminum uh do we have aluminum oh we have laterite we just need to smelt it
Okay, we now have enough aluminum to get these platforms going. Alright, let's get this large platform C rolling. Ooh, it's so close to being done. It's so close to being done. Bam, look at that. Now we have our first box ready. Alright, let's get this show on the road. It's printing, printing, printing. Oh man, look how many slots there are on this thing. Oh my gosh, 10 slots. We could put 10 solar panels on this thing. Those medium panels. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be epic. That's gonna look really cool in my base. Alright, so now for our first box, we have the large platform type C. And look at that. That is so cool. Now, I'm just so excited because like I feel like like I could put like a furnace on this, like a smelter. And then I could just like load up all the ores I want it to smelt on both sides, and it'll just keep on taking them and it'll go through all of them while I'm gone. And now we have this. This beat this thing is a beast. I'm so excited to try out this thing. I'm going to mount um I'm thinking once my base is bigger, I'm going to mount like just a bunch of these full of medium solar panels and maybe even arrays of batteries in the future. That would be really cool. Now for now, I don't really have a use for them, so I'm just going to stick them back here. And there we go. So nice, now we have these two new platforms and I will incorporate them later on in the future. Alright everyone, we got a lot done in this episode today. So we got our research chamber, we have our fabricator, and our smelter, and our printer. All the basic essentials to our Astroneer Fort. We also have these two new epic platforms I'm so excited to try out in the next video. But I'm afraid this is where I'll have to conclude this episode, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye! I just closed out Astroneer, I just finished editing, and I just- <laughs> I just come- I just came to my desktop to this. I have so many video clips I need to edit. Oh my gosh. A lot of these are blooper clips or me making sure that my microphone is working, but still. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's just... Oh, I need to put all these in a folder. I, I need a folder for these. Alright, uh... Oh wait, I already have a folder. Oh look, and I have all these too. This is gonna take a really long time to edit. Okay, to the end card. I, without... Okay, I'm gonna stop delaying this. To, uh, get the end card, just get the end card. Come on, get the end card.